Hey golfers, Britt Sherrock here, and today's lesson is going to cover the grip. In these videos, we get straight to the golf, so let's get started. The grip is so important. It is our connection to the golf club and helps us do many things that we need to do to get, to get better contact. Uh, you won't see a good golfer out there with a bad grip, so you guys really need to get a good grip to get started with the game. So uh, one in particular uh, bad habit that I see a lot of golfers make is that they hold the golf club in their palms. Uh, in particular, their lead hand is in the palm, and it's a very weak grip. Uh, when we hold the golf club like this, we don't have any leverage on the club, and I'll get to that in just a minute. But uh, if my hand is under the club like this, where my fingernails are showing, then I can't turn the club over or square the face, and I'm going to hit it to the right just about every time. So what we're going to do to get started here is I'm going to show you a trick you've probably seen before. We're going to take our index finger and hook it around the, the grip. I'm going to take the corner of my hand and get it on top. This is going to help me create leverage in the grip so that I can pick the club up and down. The leverage is so important. This allows me to uh, get the spacing in my lead arm and create some speed coming down. What we want to do then is wrap our fingers around so that our uh, fingerprints are pressing against the grip. We're going to go down with our thumbprint here. We want to have a short thumb, not a long thumb. And then we want to have a crease in this hand where it's pointed to our trailing shoulder. I want to see two knuckles when I look down at the top of my lead hand. And that's the lead hand grip. We're going to take my trailing hand, wrap it around. I want to get it in the fingers as well. We want to have it at an angle where my index finger is dropped down. This is called the trigger finger. We want to be able to create another crease in our uh, trailing hand that points to your trailing shoulder. I overlap my grip like this. You'll see the other grip that's popular, the interlock tiger. There's a lot of golfers that do this. I don't like this one in particular just because I like to have my entire lead hand on the club so that my lead hand is very dominant in the swing. And if I'm interlocked and I'm short a finger on that dominance. So overlap, interlock, one is the two, one of the two is fine. Let's just make sure that we hold it in our fingers. We want to have that leverage so that we can pick it up and down like this. And then we want to have a pretty strong grip in this lead hand where that crease is pointed to your trailing shoulder. You see two knuckles when you look down and that uh, the crease in this uh, trailing hand is pointed to your trailing shoulder as well. So that's the grip, guys. Hopefully that helps you uh, get that good golf grip so you guys will uh, make better strikes with your golf swing. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my social media pages, and you guys will get some new content and new updates soon. Thanks.